everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of Middle-Aged Badass. This week, we're going to be discussing whether or not obesity should be considered a disease. And also, in our celebrity spotlight, we will be talking about Kevin Bacon's disturbing Instagram transformation. With obesity becoming a growing problem here in the U.S., with about 300,000 deaths being related to obesity every single year, there are still some in the fat acceptance movement that believe that you can still be fat and healthy. Here is what Peggy Howell, Public Relations Director of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, had to say. Declaring obesity a disease will increase the sale of weight loss drugs, plans, and procedures. The weight cycling industry will enjoy huge profits. Since there is no permanent cure for obesity, declaring obesity a disease will only strengthen the cycle of stigmatization, discrimination, and greed. I don't know. I really have to disagree with that statement, and here's why. If you have been following my blogs from the very beginning, you all know that at the beginning of 2014, I did weigh at least 220 pounds, and life really sucked for me then, and I was miserable. But I was strong enough and capable enough not to buy into the diet bullshit. What I did was that I looked at YouTube videos, I looked at daily motivation websites, I did not buy shit tons of diet pills, I tried to keep my weight loss as natural as I could, for cheap. In fact, not just cheap, but for free. So, I know that the diet industry is bullshit. The diet industry was created by predators who prey on those that have lost hope in order to take their last dollar. These are modern day snake oil salesmen. And lucky for me and others out there, we didn't buy into that. As a matter of fact, we controlled what we put into our mouths on a daily basis. We controlled as how much physical activity that we have done on a daily basis. And it doesn't cost us a dime to do so. What we can control is what we put into our mouths and how much exercise we get on a daily basis. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disagree with that statement from Peggy Howell. Hank Cardello, director of the Hudson Institute's Obesity Solution Initiative, also said that obesity should not be considered a disease and had this to say. Finally, calling obesity a disease gives consumers less incentive to watch what they eat or to adopt healthier lifestyles. The disease designation becomes a prescription for inaction. Those with the shakiest willpower, which includes all but a small percentage of disciplined Americans, will lose big. Sorry, Hank, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. Like I said before, at the beginning of 2014, I weighed 220 pounds. And if my aching joints and my depression and my failing health were not an incentive to lose weight, then what was? If we don't classify obesity as a disease, a lot of people are going to die and nobody is going to lose big. The only ones that are going to lose big are the ones who don't take initiative and decide that, oh, well, you know, it's just like cancer or AIDS or diabetes, and I just have to live with it. Obesity is something you can change. And if you suffer the health effects of obesity, that should give you incentive enough to change your situation and control what you put into your mouth on a daily basis. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, there are a few experts who say that obesity should be classified as a disease, and I totally 100% agree. Here is what Artis D. Hoven of the American Medical Association had to say. Recognizing obesity as a disease will spur new interventions and treatments for patients and encourage greater dialogue between patients and their doctors about which behavioral, medicinal, or surgical options may be right for them. Rapidly rising obesity rates have led to a decrease in health and wellness and an increase in cost for treating obesity-related illnesses. We must address this juxtaposition if we aim to improve the health of our nation and enable a better health care system. This is something
something I can agree with and get behind, and here is why. If we declare obesity a disease, the doctor and the patient can work together to help solve that individual's problem. They can work on diet plans, medicinal advances, if the patient so chooses, medical procedures if the patient so chooses, also exercise plans, because who best to talk to about obesity than your own physician? Here's what we need to do. We need to call obesity what it is. It's a disease and a very dangerous disease. Here is what Senator Tom Carper had to say about that subject. The American Medical Association's classification of obesity as a disease should drive patients, healthcare providers, insurers, and policymakers to take this epidemic seriously. This designation will promote access to prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and comprehension coverage determinations of obesity. Now that is an excellent argument. This is exactly why they should classify obesity as a disease. But unfortunately, with the militant fat acceptance movement, it's falling on deaf ears. And it's time for those ears to be opened. Healthy needs to become normal before it's too late. And we need to classify obesity as a disease. Once we do that, we will win the battle. In our Celebrity Health Watch Spotlight, we will be talking about Kevin Bacon and his disturbing Instagram transformation. Last week, the star of Footloose posted a picture of himself on Instagram that was barely unrecognizable. The first thing I thought to myself is when I saw this picture was, seriously, what the fuck, Kevin Bacon? Or shall I say, what the fuck happened to your face? I wasn't the only one who was shocked. In fact, fans all over the world were shocked. When he posted this picture, the caption below it read, Greetings from the UK. Now, being the good reporter that I am, I decided to do a little bit of sleuthing. And I came to find out that it was a very, very good makeup job. Odds are, and this isn't confirmed but only logical, that this is just a really well done makeup job. He is, after all, standing outside of a trailer, possibly a makeup trailer, and making a joke of the fat makeup that has been applied to his still very much skinny face. Oh, and just one more thing. You can even make out someone in the trailer smiling at Kevin Bacon while he's taking the picture. Probably the makeup person who applied the prosthetic. Well, after I did my detective work, I do have to say it is not every day that we on the internet get to be punked by Kevin Bacon. So, well played, sir. Well played. So, question of the day. Do you think that obesity should be classified a disease? If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hey, everybody. You can check me out on YouTube, Podbean, and Tumblr. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at middleagefatass at gmail.com. But if you want to follow me on other social networking sites, I'm on Ello, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and I also have a Facebook page. So feel free to check those out. Well, hey, people, that's it for another episode of Middle Age Fat Ass. Tune in tomorrow at 2 p.m. for Food Porn Friday. But until then, be sure to stay healthy and stay beautiful, and I will see you next time.